welcome to another one of our videos. Today I'm going to be showing you the process of cleaning your evaporator uh, core on your 2009 to 2014 Ford F-150. This should apply to all of that generation of F-150 as well as all of the F-150 Raptors of the same generation. In my particular case I'm going to be doing this on my 2014 Raptor. Now I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different process, kind of a, a hybrid approach um, to what you see a lot of folks do online. You see a lot of folks say to just use a foaming uh, cleaner and go through the uh, AC evaporator drain, which is actually what I have right here and what I'm going to be using for the cleaning, but I'm going to be approaching it in a little bit of a different way. So what I'm going to be doing uh, is removing the blower motor resistor, which gives me direct access to the evaporator core and injecting the foam there as opposed to up through the drain tube. That again gives me a little bit more access uh, directly to the core. I'll be able to get a boroscope in there at the same time and check the condition, um, which I've actually already done prior to making this video. and. Uh, we'll be able to make sure that that uh, core is, is really nice and spotlessly clean uh, with the direct uh, onto the core injection of the cleaner. So the other way that people do it, and uh, it's not a bad way, but it's a, a different way, is cutting a hole in the front of the HVAC box where the core is. Um, that's a completely valid process and uh, certainly is, is a, definitely a good way to clean it as well. And you're much more easily able to access the other side of the core via that method and blast it with water, or do whatever you want to do. But I'd rather not cut a hole in my HVAC box if I can avoid it. And um, if I want to, I can also wash off the core with the blower motor resistor uh, removed because that access port is big enough for me to get uh, a small, uh, maybe quarter inch or three eighths inch hose in there. So I can adapt a garden hose or something like that to a much smaller one and, and wash it with water uh, in there if I feel the need to but I don't think we're gonna get that, that far. So what we need to do this job is A, evaporator and heater foaming cleaner. I've got the Coolit Lube Guard version right here. This is pretty inexpensive, and from what I've heard, pretty decent. Um, there's nicer versions of this as well. Who knows if they're gonna do any better of a job. This has some uh, pretty nasty chemicals in it. Um, nothing that'll kill you or anything, but um, it's, it's got some nice surfactants and whatnot inside that, that will help uh, the cleaning process and make that happen. I've got some tape in order to block off the uh, blower motor resistor opening. Whenever I remove that blower motor resistor and I inject the foam, I don't want it just pouring out of that opening. And the tube to inject the foam is much smaller than it opening, of course, as well. So got that to block it off. And then I have a ratchet and 8mm socket that we're going to need to remove the screws. Um, highly recommend uh, either a power ratchet or, at the very least, a long-handled one uh, to make the removal process a little bit easier. So. We're going to hop on over to the truck. I'll point out all the different uh, areas and items that we need to remove and how to access those items. And then we're going to go through the process of cleaning. Unfortunately, I can't show you inside the HVAC box what the cleaning process actually looks like. You know, the, the soap and the cleaner, I, sh I should say, melting off the, the dirt off of the evaporator core. But uh, we're going to show you the process at least. So hopefully this helps some folks out there out. So we're going to go ahead, like I said, head over to the truck and start with the cleaning. Okay, so to start the cleaning process, we've just released the glove box. This normally sits up here. You can just squeeze down the sides of the glove box and it will drop down. And we have our whole HVAC uh, case back here. Now, in order to clean the evaporator cooler, we're going to remove the blower motor resistor here. It's held in just with two eight millimeter screws. You can see one front and center, and then one uh, may or may not be able to get caught on camera as easily. It is that blue headed screw in the far back there. So kind of difficult to get that one on camera, but you're just gonna remove those two screws. You can either reach in through here or reach up and under. You can see my hand right there and you can reach everything that you need to be able to reach. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out and then uh, we're gonna be able to dive into the cleaning process from there because we're gonna have direct access to that uh, evaporator core, which is in this area. After removing the blower motor resistor, you can see that we have the uh, opening blocked off now uh, buy some duct tape and the tube from the evap uh, cleaner running in there. I just poked a hole using the tubing through the duct tape uh, while outside the truck and then kind of stuck everything in place in here. That's just to make sure that none of the foaming cleaner comes out of the uh, blower resistor hole. So at this point, we are now ready to go ahead and uh, inject the cleaner in there. This should effectively be the same as uh, injecting it through the drain port, um, just uh, getting a little bit closer to the evap coil itself since it is basically. Uh, directly to the left of that opening. It essentially sits right in here in this part of the box. You can kind of see the indentation for it. Um, so this should get a lot better uh, and a lot more direct shot to that uh, evaporator, AC evaporator itself. So 
We're gonna go ahead and uh, hook up the can, let the um, cleaner loose based on the recommendations slash directions on the can, and we'll uh, come back and do the full uh, system run and purge and everything else that the can recommends. So we'll go from there. Okay, so we are now post foam injection. If you look really closely, you may or may not be able to see it on camera. You can actually see the uh, foam in the hole there that was left by the tube. So foam's been injected. And what I'm gonna do now, um, I'm waiting the 15 minutes required by the instructions of the uh, EVAP cleaner. And while I'm waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and put back the blower motor resistor. The installation process is just gonna be the reverse of removal. Um, just gotta pull off that tape there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel that off, stick the uh, resistor back in, and then I'll probably have another 10 minutes or so left to wait uh, for the cleaner to work. And then we're gonna go ahead and fire up the truck and everything from there. So uh, reinstallation is gonna be, like I said, the reverse disassembly. We'll do that and we'll come back whenever we're ready to uh, run the truck. All right, so we're in the truck now. Our five minute process is done and we have the HVAC system in manual mode, which means that I can turn the fan speed up and down manually. You can see it's set to 72, but it's basically just ignoring that and uh, going by fan speed. You can see that icon in the bottom right corner there. We've got the fan speed up higher now. Well, the reason I'm doing that, I'm letting it run for another few minutes uh, out here in my driveway just to uh, let a higher airflow speed just to blow out any of that foam that may be still in that core and let it drain out onto the ground outside. Um, once I've let it run for a couple more minutes, I'm going to go ahead and pull it back in the garage and we're going to call it good. I'll let you guys know in the comments section below how this holds up over time, how the cleaning held up. My core was not super, super dirty um, whenever I looked at it with the bore scope. But, by the same token, I know the previous owner of this truck, uh, and knowing that individual, know that they ran it on fresh air all the time, and these trucks not having cabin filters, um, and that individual living in a dusty area, means that at the very least that evaporator had a good amount of dust in it. It looked, again, nowhere near as bad as some of the ones that I've seen online, but uh, I'm sure it had some dust built up. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, like I said, let you know how this works over time let you know in the comment section if I have any issues uh, that maybe stem from the cleaner or not. But with that, I want to thank you all for watching. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions on the process or anything else with regard to these trucks. And I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.